Welcome to our video focused on the Surgical Guide tab of Implastation, where we'll walk you through the process of creating a surgical guide. To access the Guide tab, click the corresponding button on the toolbar. Here is a menu of essential elements. List of created guides. This list displays all created guides. Buttons are provided for actions such as toggling visualizations, adjusting colors, and deleting guides as needed. Additionally, guides can be renamed directly from the list by right-clicking on them. The next elements are guide generation buttons for initiating the generation of guides based on surface, prosthesis, and stackable guides wizard. And at last, operational buttons for created guides. Let's proceed to the process of creating the guide based on the surface. Begin by selecting the desired object from the list of STL surfaces and ensuring the accurate placement of guide sleeves. In the Guide tab, click the relevant button to initiate the creation process. At the appeared window, start the guide setup. First, check and, if required, correct the jaw type using the dedicated controls. Implastation offers the possibility to apply the path of insertion from existing guides. If necessary, click on the corresponding button in the menu, and in the opened window, select the parameters for the application and the required guide. The next step is to set the contour of the future guide by drawing a curve on the STL surface. Position the object as accurately as possible, set points on the surface to draw the curve, move the points to edit the curve, and complete the process with a double click. Configure the settings for printing the surgical guide as follows. The gap between the surface and the guide, the surgical guide thickness, the diameter of the sleeve supports. You can modify this parameter for all sleeves by entering values digitally or manually adjusting the cursor on the sleeve and using the scroll wheel. Pressing Ctrl while scrolling enables adjustment of the sleeve support height. Next, set the diameter and height values for the handpiece head safety zone around the sleeve. These measurements will be subtracted from the guide automatically to prevent collisions or interference with nearby structures, especially if multiple supports are nearby. Set the parameters for the gap between the guide and the guide sleeve, as well as between the guide and the pin sleeve, to account for any errors that may arise during printing or post-processing of the guide. Set the side angle. This parameter in guide generation determines the angle at which the vertical wall is cut, crucial for adapting to individual anatomical characteristics and insertion paths. Modifying it directly impacts accuracy and efficiency by minimizing excessive removal and ensuring a precise fit. Also, activate the Smooth checkbox and adjust the desired level of smoothing using the slider. In certain cases, selecting the option Don't cut the guide inside may be appropriate. If you only need to create sleeve support guides, check the corresponding feature. Most of these parameters can be set by default in the Implastation Settings menu. After drawing the curve and setting the necessary parameters, position the STL surface in a way that minimizes undercuts, considering that the path of insertion is perpendicular to the screen. Click the Preview Guide button to generate a draft of the guide. At this step, you can review the shape of the guide before finalizing its creation. 
Don't worry if it seems incomplete, such as if some holes haven't been cut yet. The full guide model with all elements will be previewed in the next stage, so assessing the guide's shape for now is important. Additionally, access to viewing the drilling protocol becomes available through a special button. After reviewing the guide draft, the next step could be as follows. If the result is unsatisfactory, use the Change Parameters button to return to the previous stage and adjust the guide's shape and settings. If the guide's result is acceptable but requires additional modifications, proceed to editing by clicking the Edit button. If the guide is ready, complete its creation with the Make Guide button. The Edit button provides access to options, cut holes, place support, and place label. For cutting inspection holes, select the Cut Holes button. Choose between round or square shapes and adjust the size using the mouse wheel or input. Use the cursor as a cutter. Left-click on the STL surface to create a hole and right-click to delete it. For adding support bars, click the Place Support button. Choose the type, straight or curved, and set its diameter. Select either the Connect or Intersect option for constructing the support bar. Place the support bar on the guide surface and adjust its rotation and size using the provided points. Remove the bar with right click. To add labels, click the Place Label button. Enter the desired text and adjust its depth. Left-click on the surgical guide surface to place the label. Modify the imprint style by selecting either concave or convex checkbox. You can still make edits to the guide even after it has been created. Complete the process by clicking Make Guide. If the guide meets your needs, you can transfer it to your project. Please note that it is a paid feature and one export will be deducted for its use. The guide has been successfully integrated into the project. Let's consider the creation of a guide based on the prosthesis. The process is similar. Choose the required surface, navigate to the Guide tab, and click the corresponding button. In the Generation menu, set only the guide parameters and follow the next creation steps without setting paths of insertion. Upon moving the guide to the project, operational buttons become available, offering functions such as viewing the drilling protocol, accessing the editor menu, and executing operations like exporting and copying.